are you doing? Welcome to the last, the final Friday Fantastic Feet. How's that for alliteration? All right, so today, again, putting it all together. So we're gonna take that flat band and we're gonna be working on the ground. You will need a wall. Um, piece of solid furniture works as well. Um, I will only demonstrate one foot on this. So just keep that in mind as we're going through. You'll need to go back and finish the other foots. Um, so, so most of the series is one foot at a time. A little bit at the end will be two feet. All right, so you're going to be on the ground on your back so feet are comfortable here so you will need to be able to anchor your feet have a little bit of resist or sorry bend in those knees actually i'm going to pull myself in just a little bit more so i'm a little bit more toward 90. so lying on the ground so hopefully your band is long enough that you can and we have done this before put the band around your foot right so i have this extra over the top of that big toe so we did this from sitting not too long ago. Um, so now we're just doing it here. So once you are on the ground, one, straighten that leg. And again, it's up to you. What's your body saying you need to do? So you're getting through this whole superficial back line as we're working. So we're really getting into body systems now on this work. All right, so pull the band down, give yourself a little bit of tension. And again, this is where you need to have the toes in the band as opposed to poking out. All right, so starting with the gas pedal, you're gonna push the ball of the foot away. You're gonna point the toes. You're gonna press through the, oh sorry, pull the toes back in and then press through the heels. So it's that gas pedal we've been doing since day one. This is actually one of my favorite things. It gets the mobility in your feet. And again, with the band here, it gives you strength. Don't have a band, it's fine. Just do it without. You still get a lot of benefit out of the mobility. And later, as you're able, get a band, add on. Um, again, round bands do not work for this. All right, so now you're going to pause with that heel pressed up. So start off with just toe scrunch and then spread. Toe scrunch and spread. Toe scrunch and spread. All right, then we're going to go with the fanning. So start from the little toe to the big. So you're getting into fanning. Again, you fan down, just like a fan. So, and then back out. Fan and out. You're gonna lift your toes though, right? Starting from the pinky, little toe, and then start from the big toe. So is your heel still pressed out as we do this? Again, this shouldn't be too new if you've been practicing it, right? And it does take practice and skill. All right, then you're going to keep that heel pressed up, keep the toes crunched, straighten the ankle. So the toes may straighten a little bit, that's fine. Your goal is that intention of those muscles are trying to keep that arch activated, right? So to keep that scrunch. So remember, this is your foot cramp one. So if you have a lot of resistance on there, you're welcome to back it off. As you get stronger, those elbows will stay into the ground. A couple more here. Hopefully you're feeling the calves, the lower leg, all the muscles in here. Again, a lot of those muscles in the feet. We're working intrinsic feet muscles, but also down in here. All right, now heel goes on the wall and with the other foot, we're gonna step into the band. So now the heels are the same height. So we talked about this one as well. So you're gonna push the ball or the toes away and then you're gonna pull them back in. So push that little toe away, knees staying still and heel stays in place, it's rotating. So we're getting that E burden. Again, keep your toes crunched. It's way different than when you let your toes go. So for now, do one and then we'll do the other because it's important to have both. All right, so when you're ready, toes up or go the other way. Toes up. Notice the difference in feeling. So this is you're getting your EDL, your extension digitorum longus, whereas the other version with the toes under gets your peroneals. Oops, I automatically go into peroneals. EDLs do a lot because we look at your toes. If you see those tendons on your toes popping up, they tend to extend a lot anyway. Um, so that's something to counter. All right, last one here. And then you're going to take that leg, you're going to cross over and now go the other direction. Other direction.
All right, so again, you're curling in as you go. So I'm gonna take my band off for a moment so you can see. So imagine this foot's crossed over, it's got the band, so you're curling and pointing. You're curling and pointing. Again, same motion we were doing going out, right? We're just doing it going in now. So the emphasis is in, that's where that resistance is. And this is where you need to go back and watch the video and now do the other side. Okay, but we're gonna go on. So both feet on. So I want you to think about balls of the feet in your big, uh, big toe and little toe. Leave them on the ground and slowly lift your heels away. Slowly lower down. I think we did this on day one of this series. So again, we're trying to get the calf to move. You're isolating through that soleus, your lower calf muscle. I get clients to say, well, this is easy. It's like, it's not about hard or easy. It's about quality of motion. So really paying attention here as you're doing this and thinking about, you know, where it's happening with my ankles. If you feel your ankles bowing out, get a yoga block or a ball or something in there. Again, give yourself some biofeedback. It is fabulous to for giving um, your body a sense of what's happening anywhere. We got a couple more. And then release, shake it out, see how you feel. One last thing. So again, band. Now I want you to anchor it that way somehow. I don't have my anchor set up. So if you have, hold on, I have a ball. A ball or a yoga block, a foam roller or something. Put it under that knee. So we've worked the back of the ankle. Now we need to work the front, okay? So you're going to pull against resistance and bring the toes towards you. So think about, you can do it with the toes, but try to relax the toes. So all the motion, I mean, I'll take the band off, happens here. It happens here. The knee should be staying quiet. It's gonna have a little bit of mobile motion just because we got some action right here, it's sliding, but this should be staying still for the most part and all the movement happens here. All these compensation patterns that we develop, you know, we can work through them, we can reverse them. We have to practice at it, all right? And again, do the other leg. So I thank you for being here for Fantastic Feet for the month of February. There's so much alliteration in this program. Um, I appreciate you. If you would, drop me an emoji, a foot emoji in particular. Let me know you were here. I appreciate you. Thank you. See you guys soon.